So yo, what is up guys, Tyne here and welcome back to a brand new tutorial video. So a couple of weeks ago, I got a comment on my top 5 series saying how did I make my countdown in the video. So today I'll be going over that and yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting some gameplay. So I'm just going to use this CSGO gameplay. Yeah, as you guys can see, it works right into the gameplay. And I just cut it up into different sections, so I use B for blade. So I can cut it up, so I cut it into 5 sections since I... I used a top 5 countdown, so 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So here's, I'll, this will be 1, this will be 2, 3, 4, and etc. So I, now that I've cut that off, cut that off, I can delete this, get some text layers, get this one, and then just make sure it goes like in line. So there we go. Change the text to the, I'll change it, this one to 5, change the size. Then we'll put it central. And then what I did was to get this fading effect, I could put like this. Um, where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, it's something like you can put any effect on it, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's what I did. And then as you guys can see, I copy pasted it onto every single one of them, and then changed the numbers. So I'm going to do that now quickly. Okay, so now that I've done all the attempts, see look, it goes in five, and at the end it goes and it wipes out again. And then now, since I don't like the background in focus, I decide to put a gosh, I think that's I believe what it's called, go on, yeah, this, this tech, I put that on there, so the background is blurred and it looks more professional in my opinion. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.